I haven't put in my book of shadows yet, so it's just been sitting here on my altar. And it's the pride uh, incantation that I posted a while ago, last June, I do believe. Um, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. This is Pride, Pride 8, I do believe. So happy Pride. Um, straggling incense, um, this is a chain from a pocket watch, the pocket watch broke, so it's just been sitting here on my altar, um, but we have a incense holder that I put some shells in because the incense that came with this were those short little ones that don't have the stick fit at the end. So I put them in the shelves to be able to get the incense out easier. Um, but my favorite thing on the altar is this. I got this lantern like 
two or three Christmases ago. Um, on here we have a protection amulet charm from Christmas a couple of years ago. And we have a jack-o'-lantern bell from Halloween. Um, but on the inside, I use this to do incense. I know people use them to light candles in, but I do incense. And I kind of decorated it. I'm not sure if you can see that. But I have one, two, three feathers hanging from the inside. Um, and it's surrounded by a star anise or anise. And uh, anise is good for protection and cleansing. So once the smoke starts to go up, it's passing through these feathers and the star anise or anise. And it is adding to the clearing and protective properties of the smoke. Um, also on here, I have some symbols. I have the uh, Celtic knot. Uh, I drew it two ways, but it's the Celtic knot. Um, I have a sunflower in here for happiness. Some raspberry leaves. Um, a pear stem. Uh, a quartz stone. Not like a quartz crystal, but like a river rock quartz stone. I'm not sure what kind of stone it is. I just know that it's quartz. Um, I also have a pen in here. Um, and then I have this cap that I used um, during the Samhain bonfire video. And then a stone that I put the incense on. And then I have some ashes just below that. I also have some acorns in here. Um, some strawberry leaves. Uh, to promote love and stuff. But yeah, there's that. And then behind this, we have some cups that I use to uh, divvy out ingredients and stuff like dirt and water. And just behind that, we have even more instant. Um, these are 105 cones, 7 incense perfumes, and in here there is jasmine, lotus, musk, amber, patchouli, pine, rose, and sandal. I really like these. These smell amazing. Like, out of all the incense I've ever had, these smell the best. Um, but there's those. I have these cards that I put the incense holders on so that when the incense falls it's not just getting all over here. It still does but it keeps it cleaner than what it would be. And then just below that I have a protection card that I put below the incense. Um, we have this apple pie candles that I got from Dollar General? Yeah, I got this from Dollar General. I think you've seen this video by, uh, already, but the red apple pie candles. And then I also keep this, uh, the remnants of that purple candle that I used in the Sam Hain bonfire video, but I also use this during the Pride incantation, I do believe. So I keep those on there because purple is spiritual color. Um, and then the big thing on here, which, yes, I have not forgot about, and that is the Theranos conduit. Um, it's still going. It's a work in progress. Don't you forget. I didn't forget. But I added one of those uh, 
protection charm, cinnamon protection charm, but I also, I kind of use it, or I use it mostly as a conduit, but if you do know what this kind of looks like, then I also use it to close its mouth, put it against the stomach, to like encourage or I use this to encourage like mindfulness and then in the feet to I don't know keep you in your lane type stuff so there's that now we have some orange tops that want to these two things uh, this was a Maybon Sanhain Thanksgiving and Yule jar, um, but I'm, I think that's the next solstice is in bulk. I think, I'm not sure, do not quote me on that, um, but I didn't really, I kind of just took everything apart, so this is just kind of a remnant of what was left. I tried to make it like a decoration still, but this is what we have, and we have, this is a candle holder that I put the cicada, some holly leaves, a uh, piece of cinnamon, uh, a leaf, and this cloth on or in and on but there's that and then the orange lantern that I made a while ago but I also have my sea salt grinder on here for protection and things we have some bubbles I actually have a bunch of these, um, but I was reading around about how you can put incense in the bubbles and it can be like a smudging spray, but like bubbles, but I haven't done that yet, but I have been keeping it on my altar just because I have a bunch of these and I don't know, maybe one day I'll put essential oils in it. Um, we have like all of them. We have an orange peel. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. I feel like I just need it like a offering because it is orange and you can do stuff with orange. Um, there's also a cactus in here that I literally killed a cactus, y'all. <laughs> but I put it, I put this on here as like a offering to I don't really put out offerings to deities, like I put out an offering just in case a deity, deity does, does come by, um, but for the most part my altar um, just kind of represents nature and the four points like earth, air, fire, water, that kind of stuff, um, I've never really liked use deities in my practice so there's that but next we have uh these pins um there's just incense sticks in this one and leftover incense ashes in this one to like make black salt and stuff um we also have this eggshell powder which I'm gonna start using um, when I start growing me some herbs um, but this is also a good natural substitute for salt because you don't want to salt herbs <laughs> and then we have uh, this is super moon blood moon water so I did uh, this first 
in 2018 during the super full blue blood moon, which was in 2018, but I also charged it under the lunar eclipse a couple of weeks ago. So we have lunar eclipse water, and then a seashell to further represent the element of water. This actually came from the beach, so I feel like it gives it a little more oomph. And then we have a chocolate coin because I didn't know this before, but Hecate actually takes offerings of chocolate, but I've just been leaving this out in case a deity ever did come past or to appease past spirits, relatives, um, ancestors. So I keep a chocolate coin on here. I change it out. I changed this one out. Um, I let a whole year go by and then changed it out. And then we have this plant to kind of represent life and passing. Um, and I don't say that because I don't feel like anything dies. It just moves into a new life. Um, so I have this just kind of representing that whole duality thing. Um, there was a vine in here, but it died. Um, so I'm trying to regrow some and see what happens there. Um, but the last couple of things are this shell that I liked, so I just put it on here. Um, some sticks that I thought about making rune staves out of, but I don't know a whole lot about runes, and if I want to do runes, then I want to actually do, like, the wood it represents. I think that's how you do it. The rooms are associated with certain types of wood. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I got some sticks. This can also represent earth. And then just to cut to measure out water and stuff. Um, anything else? Oh. And then this protection pocket that I made during 31 days of spook uh, quite a while ago, um, but I took some of the pine straw out of the Samhain Maybon jars and I added them to this. So now this, is, this has two years worth of pine straw with added energies incorporated into it, if that makes sense. If you know where I'm going with that, um, but yeah, the protection pocket, but yeah, that's about it. Everything else is either in this box or this box behind the camera. Um, so if I ever do need anything, then I have to take all of this off, open this box and get it, and then close it back up. Um, but I don't know, going minimal has been kind of nice because you don't have stuff falling everywhere especially when now that it's a thing in the witchcraft community that you don't really need things to do witchcraft which I've always felt I've been headed towards like using the power within to do witchcraft um, I've never been too attached to things to do with craft, but I don't know, it's just kind of nice to have, I guess, like a physical representation of what you're doing, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for future videos, or if you just want to leave a comment in general, then leave it in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Alright, bye guys.